What's going on everybody, it's Thundershot, and what you're going to be seeing in the background today is going to be footage from the Dragon Ball Xenoverse beta that happened a while back. No, you can't get into the beta anymore, but I did manage to snag some footage while I was in there, so uh, feel free to enjoy that in the background. But that's just merely going to be background noise, background gameplay for the real topic at hand today. And what we're going to be talking about is the release date for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and on top of that, we're also going to be talking about a lot of pre-order stuff. Some of the pre-order stuff is kind of cool, some of it is really, really, really uncool, and I'll tell you what I mean as I get into the topic a little bit more. So, let's just start out with the release date first of all. Bandai Namco Games Europe has announced the European and Australasian release date for February 13th. Now, if you don't know what Australasian is, it's Australia and a couple islands surrounding, otherwise known as the Oceanic Area. However, the release date of that is February 13th for Dragon Ball Universe. This is, this is the kicker, this is the important part. On the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. The PC version will not make its way to Steam until February 17th. Now, that will find that rather interesting because why would they hold back the PC version? And my guess for this is going to be because that's when the American release is going to happen. Uh, I know what you're thinking, why would the American release be that many days after, be so many days after the European release date? It doesn't make a lot of sense. I agree with you, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But, looking back at Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, the last game release to come out of Bandai Namco, uh, what they did is they released the Japanese version on January... Let me have a look at my dates here. They released the Japanese version of Battle of Z on the 23rd. They released the European version on the 24th, and then uh, North America didn't get it till four days later. Now, obviously, Europe is getting this one pretty late. Europe's not getting this. The Japanese release date now is set to February 5th, I believe. And Europe isn't getting it until over a week after, which is pretty nuts for Japan to get the game that early. Um, I'm kind of upset about that, but what are you going to do, really? But yeah, Europe's not getting the game till over a week after the Japanese release date hits. And on top of that, the PC version doesn't even get it till after a few days, or a few days after the European release date. Now, the reason I think that they're waiting on the PC version is because that's when the North American version is going to drop. My guess is that the North American version is going to come out on either the 16th or the 17th, and that's why they're saving the PC version, because obviously once a game hits online, it's online, people are going to find a way to get it one way or another. They're saving it till that date to put it live on Steam, so that way uh, it's already out in North America, it's already out everywhere, so nobody can actually get a copy of the game earlier than they should. That's my guess. My guess is officially that North America should come out on the 16th, 17th, somewhere in there. Uh, once again, the European and Australasian release date is 13th, and then the Japanese release date is on the 5th. A lot of people might have problems with that. I am really upset because North America is not getting the game till very last, but it, once again, what are you going to do? Anyways, moving on from that topic, let's go ahead and get into some of these pre-order things here. So, first things first, um, along with the release dates, for Europe at least, they've announced that the Dragon Ball Xenoverse, co they've announced the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Collector's Edition, called the Trunks Travel Edition. It will include the game itself and a 25 centimeter figurine of Trunks. Now, they did this with Battle of Z. In Battle of Z, they only released it in Europe, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they only released it in Europe. It wasn't a Trunks Edition, it was a special Goku Edition or something like that. Um, they're doing this again with Xenoverse, and I believe right now it's only set to come out in Europe once again. So, again in North America, we're getting gypped again, we're probably not going to be able to get our hands on this. That being said, I don't really want to get my hands on it that badly. Um, it's going to cost probably over $100, and all you're really getting is this Trunks figurine. And don't get me wrong, the Trunks figurine would be really cool to have, 25 centimeters tall and all that, but I don't need it. And I'm not really upset that I'm not getting it being in North America. I mean, I'm sure if I wanted to, I could have it shipped over from Europe and all that stuff, but I'm probably not even going to do that, and it's not going to bother me at all that I don't get the Trunks figurine edition. However, moving on to more pre-order bonuses. This is where it gets tricky and interesting and good and bad, and we'll, we'll talk about it. Anyways, for those of you who pre-order the game, whether you get the normal edition or the Trunks centimeter edition, Trunks centimeter edition, uh, <laughs> Trunks travel edition with the 25 centimeter tall figurine, uh, whether you pre-order the game normal or the collector's edition, you will get a black metal case of Shenron. I should be phasing the photos up on it now, but you will get a black metal, metal case of Shenron, um, which looks pretty cool. It looks like Shenron, and he's wrapped around the Taki Taki City Hourglass. So the Hourglass in general seems to be a theme of Xenoverse, but it's Shenron wrapped around a the Hourglass, we'll call it, um, in an exclusive metal case. I think the metal case idea is actually pretty sweet. You get two exclusive Frieza Soldier battle suits, which again, I should be showing off. One of them is the golden version, obviously because of its shiny goldenness. And the battle suits for Frieza Soldiers just look like Saiyan armor, so I'm completely okay with that. I think some extra Saiyan armor is pretty sick. Along with the golden version, you also get the crystal version, or as I like to call it, it looks silver to me. It looks silver, but I guess they didn't want it to sound inferior to the gold version by being the silver version, so they called it the crystal version. That's my only guess. Um, but it, along with those two exclusive battle suits and the exclusive metal case, this is where it gets interesting and or shitty, as someone would like to say. 
Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is one exclusive playable character for a pre-order bonus. Now, I'm about to tell you why that's bullshit. <laughs> So one thing that tipped us off that Battle of Z was going to be a shitty game. There were a couple things that tipped us off about Battle of Z. Battle of Z being a shitty game. But one of the things that tipped us off was the fact that you had to pre-order the game if you wanted a Goku Naruto Sage Mode costume. And that's completely understandable. That's Goku in a new costume. So that's just a pre-order bonus. I understood that one. However, along with the pre-order bonus, you could get Super Saiyan Bardock. He's a movie character, kind of makes sense that he's also a pre-order bonus. But another pre-order bonus for Battle of Z, a special pre-order bonus for Battle of Z, was Super Vegito. Which made absolutely no sense, because Super Vegito is very, very relevant to the Dragon Ball Z timeline. Not only is he relevant, he's entirely necessary. So if you're going to make a Dragon Ball Z game, uh, you can exclude movie characters, whatever. But if you're going to make a Dragon Ball Z game based on the series, why are you excluding Vegito? Here's another thing that we have. Now, I'm not saying this makes Xenoverse a bad game by any means. The gameplay already feels a lot better than Battle of Z did. Also, it not being based on a team thing uh, is another thing that's very helpful for it. However, we see Xenoverse doing the same thing. For those of you who don't know, GT is already confirmed, or at least we thought GT was confirmed. We knew for sure Super Saiyan 4 Goku was confirmed. They've released screenshots of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So in everyone's mind, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's in it, the rest of GT is going to be in it. But now that we know that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is an exclusive pre-order bonus, that throws a wrench into the whole making for most of it. Like, we've seen uh, data miners such as Sergio. We've seen Sergio come out with information that Baby is probably going to be in this game, and a couple other things hinting to GT are going to be in this game. But how can you honestly have anything GT? How can you say that GT is in the game if you're excluding Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from anything that isn't a pre-order bonus? Um, let me look at it this way. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta wasn't in the game very, wasn't in the actual series GT very long. That's completely fine. However, he was very, very crucial in that together they made Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So does this mean that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is not in the game, or that they're going to try to make Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta DLC later on down the road, but you have to have the exclusive Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta to get that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm speculating here. We can say a lot of things about this. If they do put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game, but Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is a DLC or is a uh, pre-order bonus character, does that mean that you will not be allowed to fuse mid-game? Because obviously you would need Goku and Vegeta to fuse. If not, uh, Gogeta has to be his own separate character that you cannot fuse to make, obviously. I don't know. My mind's running crazy with this. But uh, I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Real quick, just to end with not such a bad taste on your mouth, I'm still really pumped for this game. I'm going to be pre-ordering the game myself anyway, so I'm going to get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I just think it's really, really low of them to make people have to pre-order it to get a character that should already be in the game kind of by default. If you're going to have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, unless Super... Like, I could understand it if Super Saiyan 4 Goku was the only GT character you had in the game. And then Vegeta was a bonus, a pre-order bonus. That one makes sense. But there's already hints that there's going to be a lot more than just Super Saiyan 4 Goku in this game. And why would just Super Saiyan 4 Goku be the only GT character in this game to begin with? Just with how crucial Vegeta was in making Gogeta, it, it rubs me the wrong way that he's uh, a pre-order bonus character. But anyways, to go back... Um, to what I was saying. I'm still pumped for this game. I'm gonna pre-order it, so I'm gonna get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta regardless. However, it, like I said, it just, it irks me. Um, it confuses me as to what's gonna become of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because clearly, should he be in the game? I mean, if Omega Shenron's in the game, which we don't know for sure yet, you would think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would have to be in the game, but again, how can you get that with that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? But no, I'm looking forward to this game. I'm going to pre-order it. A lot of you guys are probably going to pre-order it anyway. I see no reason not to pre-order it. Also, another thing that's interesting to point out is you will only be able to get the Trunks Travel Edition for consoles only. So the, uh, the special Trunks European figurine edition is only for consoles. But on top of that, like I said, I'm going to be pre-ordering the game. I'm going to get all the cool stuff regardless. It's just, it's a really, really weird wrench to throw in this to make Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta the bonus character. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Let me what, let me eh, know what you guys think on this, what you guys think of the pre-order bonuses. I think the costumes are going to be awesome. The gold version, crystal version of Frieza Soldier Battle Suits. I think my metal tin case is going to be pretty sick when I get that in from the pre-order. You know how I feel about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta now. What do you think about GT being in the game? Uh, obviously Super Saiyan God and Beerus and Battle of Gods being in the game. All that fun stuff. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My voice is going dry. I'm sorry about that. I am Thundershot, and I'm out. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Xenoverse news, and I will see you next time. Peace.